being trans or being transgender is part of who you are and they are all part of why you become a great person. Mabuhay! I am Brenda Rodriguez Alegre. I am a trans Pinay or a transgender woman. I am also one of the board of directors of STRAP, the Society of Transsexual Women of the Philippines. My name is Veronica Litton. I am a writer based in Manila, Philippines, and I am also a trans Pinay. And I'm also a cat mom. So, the history of transgender and non-binary representation in the Philippines can be traced back hundreds of years to the pre-colonial era of our country. The Babaylan were spiritual figures and community leaders who were made up of women and male identified at birth transgender and non-binary people. Some even believe that many of the earliest revolts against the Spanish were led by the Babaylan, a form of activism that continues today. In the post-war years, trans Pinays have also been part of society. In the 1970s, a lot of trans women have actually made beauty pageants a great form of entertainment and they've made themselves very visible. We've learned about the history of Walterina Markova, whose life was made into a film and was portrayed by a cisgender man. In the 1990s, the LGBTI movement has already started to mobilize themselves and has become very proactive in joining different issues that the greater Filipino population experience. The LGBTI organization UP Babaylan has become the first official LGBT organization that's recognized by a university and trans Pinays have been part of that organization for the longest time. The Society of Transsexual Women was then formed in the early 2000s by four trans Pinays. And by 2008, we have introduced the term trans Pinays. There is no one way of being transgender. How people transition and express themselves is entirely up to them. Trans Pinays, we come in all types. And I do think that with the pandemic lockdowns, a lot of people are starting to come to terms with themselves. It actually benefited a lot of baby trans, as we call them, and allowed them to safely transition in their own homes in a place away from judgment. Unfortunately, we also don't have any laws that protect us against discrimination. Hence, we urge our government and our people to fast track the approval of the SOGI equality bill and hopefully we could also have a gender recognition law allow us to be our true selves and to the trans nice out there embrace your authentic self and if you want to be with sisters who will accept you and support you just connect with us at strap the world of trans nice in particular it's a lot more diverse it's a lot more colorful and it's a lot more beautiful than people initially take it out to be for great Mabuhay ang Transpinites!